Hi Bells, it's Sarah Stanford here with your weekly BBTs. Now this week I've been struggling to try and figure out what my BBT for this week would be and I figured it out over the weekend. And what I want to talk about today is your wedding day styling. You know, on your wedding day, the dress is one of the most important aspects of it, but it's not just about the dress. It's also about, you know, the makeup and the, ha the hair and the accessories and the headpiece and the earrings and that sort of thing. So today what I want to kind of talk to uh, all of our bells and brides about is the birdcage and really the right way to put the birdcage on because I think a lot of us take it for granted that you have this birdcage, just put it on and it will sit well. And that doesn't always happen. So what I want to do today is show you a birdcage and show you the tools that you will need to put on the birdcage on your day and give you some options as to how to really style it so you will really, you know, look your best and it won't look kind of funny because sometimes these bird cages when the girls put them on they don't really look as good as they could look so what I want to do is show you today um, some of the things that we'll need to accessorize and put on the bird cage so here we have first of all and obviously our bird cage now with a bird cage you have to be careful because they're different types you have a very simple bird cage like this which is a French netting with some crystals along the side and it's attached to a simple hair clip or hair comb right and then also what you have is the feathered piece or the fascinator now some bird cages will come with the fascinator already attached to it okay and some of them will come with the fascinator separate now my preference usually is that the fascinator is separate from the bird cage reason being oftentimes when they're attached you will find that whatever adhesive the manufacturer used to, 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 to put them together it's kind of makes it cock off sort of to the side and it doesn't really sit as well. So I like when the bird cage is separate from the fascinator because then you have the control as to where you place everything. Okay? So in order to put on our bird cage, we need our bird cage, we need our fascinator, and oftentimes we'll just need some simple hair pins, right? Which aren't going to show in your hair. Sometimes the bird cages you don't need it, but sometimes it, depending on the size, you will. So with the bird cage, here's what we're gonna do. Now we usually sit the bird cage on the right side of the head, and for a couple of reasons. The main reason is when you're standing at the altar, this is the side of your head that's going to be showing to the congregation or the audience, and it's better for pictures. So we like to try and put it on the on the on the right side. So we're going to take the bird cage comb clip section, and we're going to put it somewhere right around, not too far back, but right around where your ear is, and a little bit up. Okay, so we're gonna rest it somewhere around here. So you can see where I've, I've, I've put it there. Now this particular birdcage is rather large as you can see. And this is where the bobby pins or the, 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 the clips come in, into play. And what I like about this birdcage, because it has so much material, it gives you a lot of leeway as to how you want to set it. And so you have a lot of flexibility. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this birdcage and we're gonna put it over the face and it kind of just cuts half diagonally across the face over both eyes across the nose and across the lips because this is usually a very flattering look for most people okay and then what we're gonna do we're gonna take a bobby pin and we're very simply going to kind of just take the top down because it's a little bit high and take it down to a level where we want and just pin it into the top of the head okay then we're gonna take the sides again because it's a little bit full and we're just gonna kind of Pull it down, right? Right somewhere maybe around here. And again, it's a personal style, so you can do it in whatever way makes you feel comfortable. And then we're gonna pin that very easily, or not so easily sometimes, excuse me, very easily into the side of the hair to hold it down, okay? So this is what we have so far with the birdcage, and again, as I said, you can alter it as you, as you need to. Like, I'm not liking this little part right up here, so I am again just going to take my hairpin, and I'm just going to pin it down here, okay? So after you've gotten your birdcage set to where exactly you like it, then this is where you can now place the fascinator, okay? And the fascinator, you can use it and cover the comb click, you can put it further back, me, I'm just going to take it and put it somewhere right around here. Okay? So if you look now, ladies, you have your fascinator 
and you have your bird cage, right? And again, you alter it the way you want to, and that's you on your wedding day. Okay, so you can take a look at it from the side with the fascinator. And then we can take a look at it from the front. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. I hope you guys will kind of take a look at it. Practice at home before your wedding day so you can get it right. And if you have any questions, you can always inbox me or put a post on, on, on our page or send us an email at info at blissja.com. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, and as always, make it blissful.